All right, guys, welcome to this page of the notes. Now, what we're going to do here uh, in this, uh, on this particular example problem uh, is we're going to start to look at how or refresh, right? Because remember, you did all this in Algebra 1. Uh, just refresh you guys on how you solve uh, a system of two equations with two unknowns using the method of substitution. Now, let me say a couple of things about substitution first. Um, you're not going to use substitution very often, and that's because I would only use it in a very specific case, and let me show you what that would be. If you take a look at your system of equations, and one of the equations, or maybe both, it doesn't really matter, it probably won't be both. Uh, in this case, I have one equation where one of my variables, the x, has a coefficient of 1. So if you ever have an equation where a variable has either a coefficient of 1 or a coefficient of negative 1, what that does is it makes the equation very, very easy to solve for that variable. In fact, let me show you. I can solve for x. Oh, sorry, switch markers. There it is. x is equal to a negative 4y plus 1, right? See how easy that is? Right, really, really easy to just go ahead and isolate a variable. This is going to be the situation where substitution might be faster than elimination. The rest of the time, you're, you're going to do elimination. Now, we'll talk about elimination uh, in the next couple of example problems, so I'm not going to spend a ton of time on it now. Um, but in most cases, elimination is the faster way, except when you have an equation an equation in your system that has already been solved for x. I mean, if they've already solved the equation for a variable, then yeah, you're doing substitution. Like it's the fastest way. Or you have a variable that has a coefficient of 1 or negative 1. Substitution might be a little bit quicker. So let's go ahead and keep going then with how this method works. Well, what I've done is I've already right, recognized that my equation, the x variable, had a coefficient of 1, and I solved for that variable. But what you're then going to do, and this is where the substitution comes in, the name, I'm going to now substitute what I just found for x. Hence why we call it substitution. For this x, I'm going to plug in a negative 4y plus 1. So let's do that. 2 multiplied by a negative 4y plus 1 plus 3y is equal to 12. Right? This used to be where my x was, but I know what x is equal to. I, I solved for it over here. So I just take that guy. I plug it in for x, and now what I have is an equation that only has y's in it. Well, simplify, combine like terms, solve for y. Let's distribute this guy through the parentheses. That'd be the first thing I do. It's going to give me a negative 8y uh, plus 2 plus 3y is equal to 12. Go ahead and combine like terms. Negative 8y plus 3y should be a minus 5y. I will subtract the 2 to the other side. That gives me 10. Divide both sides by negative 5, and I get y is equal to a minus 2. Great. There's one thing. Now I know what y is equal to. But now what I need to do is I need to figure out, well, what is x equal to? No problem. I have an equation where I've already solved for x. Go ahead and plug the value of y in for y and uh, evaluate the expression for x. So let me go ahead and slide this guy up a little bit so I got some space. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to go ahead and do x is equal to a negative 4y plus 1. But I know what y is. y is a negative 2. So x is equal to negative 4 times a negative 2 plus 1. And of course we get x is equal to, hopefully you can see that down there. You should be able to see that. Uh, negative 4 times a negative 2, positive 8. 8 plus 1 is going to be a 9. Okay. Now, what I found is my solution. Remember, your solution for a system of equations is going to be an ordered pair. It is the ordered pair x, y. So in my case, that would be 9 minus 2. And that means that this system of equations is consistent 
and independent. They're two different, they're two different linear functions. Uh, this just happens to be the point where those two functions cross. If you were to graph them, this would be where those functions would intersect each other. So uh, consistent and independent. What that does uh, is just gives you an, a feel for how the substitution method works. And again, um, it's, I would really only use it in very limited cases, and that would be whenever you have an equation that has either already been solved for the variable or um, where one of the variables has a coefficient of 1 or negative 1, making it very easy to solve for that variable, in which case substitution will be the fastest way. But most of the time, again, 90% of the time, we're going to use elimination. That's the method we want to look at next. So head on over to the next page of the notes, and I'll meet you guys there.